I had some people who uh, wanted me to show some evidence. They they wanted me, I guess, to to, um, to show that I'm not a phony when it comes to paranormal. So um, I'm sharing this video to people who are really interested in the paranormal, not really concerned with all the little childish back and forth arguing that I fell into. So um, I got plenty of evidence for you if you want to see this. Now, as you can see, what I have laid out here in front of me, I have so many photos, and including, st I mean, I've got thousands of photos. If you want to talk about uh, somebody who at one time had an addiction to ghost hunting, you can take a look at this <laughs> and tell me what you think. But I'm going to get right to the point because I don't want to put a two-hour video on YouTube. Some of these, some of my best evidence I'll show you as far as orbs go. This is my daughter that I used to take ghost hunting. You'll notice there's an orb beside her head. When we moved down to this photo, this was taken in a cemetery. Same orb. But I guess if it's a if it's a ghost if it's a, a dust particle like people say, she seems to have a dust particle that follows her everywhere. Once again, several orbs throughout this this place I used to live in, several orbs. Uh, once again, you'll notice the same daughter with the same orb always around her. Once again, here another orb right beside her. Here's a picture of her orb. Here's her in the cemetery orb. Her sister, another daughter, sitting on the bed. Remarkable. This orb is just chilling right here on the bed beside her. Um, same daughter here. Uh, orb right beside her. And I'm going to make a suggestion to people really quick who shoot orbs. This is an idea that I had. I put a backdrop up on purpose. I hung a blue... It's better if you have black. Hang a backdrop up because the truth of the matter is that orbs are white in color. They're actually made of what I understand to be plasma. And if you put a backdrop up of something black, blue, like I did in this case, you're putting something between uh, yourself and the orb to where it's going to generate a better photo. So some people, if you go into a place that has white walls and you're not getting anything, there's no telling what you're missing because you don't have, uh, you know, it's going through. The light is flashing through them. So anyway, back to back to this evidence. A lot of these cemetery photos, let me just explain something to you that you don't know. This is a truck. This is a company I used to work for. I actually used to work for a burial company. And if you notice, it's kind of a blurry photo here of me in the cemetery. And I don't think you can really see, but I have a black jacket on it's a uniform there's an orb above me and my kids um, I had access to a lot of cemeteries because I used to work in the cemeteries I actually have buried probably over a thousand people over a 10-year span of working in cemeteries here's a picture of me in the cemetery with the orbs uh, a picture in the cemetery of a gravestone with several different size of orbs and different uh, Shade. Some were really bright. Some were kind of faded. Um, once again, here, orb down towards the ground. Uh, a lot of tombstones in the background. Uh, the daughter I showed you earlier. Several little orbs. You'll notice these are these are called vaults. These are burial vaults, stacked on top of each other. This is a company I used to work to. So, as a ghost hunter, um, I was very lucky because a lot of people have to go out and get permission to go to places or else they'll get arrested for trespassing. I was very fortunate because I had access to a lot of these cemeteries after hours. I had access to my job after hours, which was a burial company. And so I was able to catch a lot of stuff where most people would not have even gotten permission to be there. Like the mausoleum that I mentioned in my last video was at a and you can look this up online. There's a place called Sunset Memorial Park. It's in Chester, Virginia. And you can actually see pictures of the mausoleum that I'm talking about. It's an indoor mausoleum with doors. Um, back to the photos. Some of these interesting things, I know some people don't have faith in religion or whatnot, but there's an orb here in this picture. And it's going to be hard to see with the camera, I guess. It's kind of because it's called in the white wall. See what I mean about the backdrop? 
there's a Bible there and there's an orb directly above it. And what's interesting to me is here's a separate picture. My child playing. There's the Bible still there. The orb in the same area. Uh, they, I have several pictures within this home that I used to live in. And yes, it's not a mobile home, EVP. But uh, we lived in an area that was very near uh, uh, where a lot of Civil War things happened. Here's the one where the orb is slightly coming into the picture. Very good picture of this orb. If you look, you can see actual little pits and holes and things. This orb is halfway into the photo and came in very clearly. You know, some, some people want to say it's not, but I think I see faces in some of these orbs. I really do. The backdrop, however, evidence that I keep telling people about, you want them to come in clearly, use a backdrop, hang, a, hang something black or blue in this case in your house and take a look. Here's my son and daughter walking and orb walking around. This is where I worked at. Uh, my kids used to love going ghost hunting. Here's a picture of me in the cemetery. Huge orb, orbs everywhere. This, uh, the amount of evidence that I have, and this is not even the best of it. I mean, I have some pictures that I really honestly uh, had to search around trying to find, and I will find those and post them. But um, as you can see here, I mean, I can't even really lay all this stuff out. I've, I've got thousands of photos that I collected over probably about a good five-year career as a uh, ghost hunter. And I got into it because I was working in cemeteries and had access to these places. And um, there's no joke and no doubt about it that orbs are very much spiritual. Let me just put two of these photos together here uh, and show you something. This is the same, uh, this is a child there's the orb. Here's my child with the backdrop, the orb, and so, and so on, and so on with the backdrop, and the cemetery with the orb, base with the orb, orbs in the trees of the cemeteries. Um, these are vault lids you see stacked on top of each other at the burial company. This is what I used to do for a living. I used to actually bury people. Uh, that was my job for 10 years, and, um, who knows, that could explain why I have so many orbs that seem to hang around me. It might be people I've, you know, worked with. But if you wanted to see evidence, anybody that has more evidence than this, I would love to see it. I'd love to. And, and for all you who are probably going to call this fake, hats off to your brothers. <laughs> explain to me. You'll never convince me that it's fake. And it's people who think I'm wearing a wig. Uh, it's, it's a pretty good, sturdy wig, I can tell you that. But then again, why am I even, you know, some of you are people on here being so childish and ridiculous that I don't see how you're, you even have credibility. Uh, but I think you don't have credibility because I don't think you have any real evidence. I want to see real evidence. My friends, please, where does it end? And this is what I meant when I said I stopped ghost hunting because I had plenty of evidence. I didn't need to prove anything else. Um, I've got it all right here.